Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. See, good. Do you go? Do you go by Ronald or Ronnie or what? Uh, Ronald's good. It don't matter. Awesome. So, what? What is your? Uh, what's your agency called? It's a uh, Cardi. Cardi. All right, got it. Cardi. Yeah, I can't think of nothing else, unfortunately. Yeah. When? When did you? So, I don't, do you have a website for it right now? Yeah. Okay. What is it? Uh, it's just Cardi.com. So oh. C A R T I Y. Okay, got it. Is it up right now? Maybe I typed it in wrong earlier. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Awesome. So. So where are you at with it right now? Like, what are you what are you trying to do? What's your biggest challenge with it? you like all the uh, central text um i only do it because i stumbled upon ty lopez um an ad popped up on youtube i saw about it um it made sense i looked at some people's web small business websites and it was clear that some people could really use some help with social media um right now the website's up it's ready ready to take payments um waiting on business cards so right now i guess my biggest challenge is just um What's the best way to get clients? You know, should I do it? Just dress up, show up in their office, and cold call, cold email, and just do I do all of it, or do I just focus on one? So that's kind of like the biggest challenge is just okay, I have all this ready. Um, you know, what should I do next to get clients? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and the website looks good. Did you design it yourself? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it looks good, but I appreciate it. Dude. I mean, it's definitely not bad at all. I mean. <laughs> Um, I mean, I wouldn't worry so much about, you know, what, how you're doing it, but if you have something that's really worth selling that business owners really do want, you're not, it's not going to be a problem. You know how some, some businesses, you know, they have something that people want so bad, they don't even need to try to sell and they make a ton of money. How, how can you do that? You know, I wouldn't say, you know, I, I do social media marketing services necessarily just because so many people say that. And the results you get with a lot of agencies are just okay. It's like, they, yeah, they post the Facebook for you. I would look at how can you um, go into someone's business and make a huge difference. You know, how can, how can working with your agency be the best thing that a client did that year? How can you do so much that, you know, they're happy to pay you two or three grand a month? Not, how can I do a little bit just to say I'm doing social media marketing? You know, so how what specifically would you be doing for them? Just you know, I don't know. What are your um, what would you be your specialties? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, like, like to be honest with you, like uh, this is really all has to do with like the Ty Lopez type of thing. It's just seeing, I don't know if you've seen it in the social media marketing yeah. video or whatever he did. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but I know I know one of the biggest value that customer want is they basically want more clients coming in. So I um. I do understand, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I had an e-commerce store, so I have a pretty good depth of how to use Facebook ads and stuff like that. Um, so I guess you can see my struggle is how can I provide value on the clients that, yes, I won't be able to get you more clients using social media. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So actually, I haven't seen that specific video, I don't think. I mean, I definitely know who Ty Lopez is, but... Yeah. Uh, can you give me a quick, what does he say in the video? So pretty much, he, well, basically what he came up was, he came up with a program back in October, but I just kind of found out about it about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, basically, he's charging $800. I didn't pay that. I only paid 25 bucks for it. If you want, I can tell you a website. You can go to download. Like, anybody who has books, programs, whatever you want, I know a website you can go to. This guy, you just sign up, have a PayPal account, 25 bucks. You can download this whole program. Um, but pretty much he just, it's him and some other people basically just kind of have about 40 videos talking about like how it started, whatever. Um, they pretty much just kind of go over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter a little bit, and YouTube. And then they give you like a list of different niches that are possible that you can go into like dentist office, cosmetic surgeons, hotels, e-commerce sites. 
So they, I mean, over, overall, they don't tell you like they when they, they do kind of tell you how to get clients, but those methods may take a little bit longer. Like, uh, like um, building like trying to like for example, if I want to work with restaurants, maybe try to find someone who sells wine and you know befriend them and help each other out, type of things like that. But they really don't go into detail as far as how to get clients. You gotta figure that out yourself. Right, okay, so they taught you all like the specifics of how to actually do the marketing once you have a client? Um, you know what you're saying? Much, yeah, <laughs> they, don't, they don't start with the beginning part of how to get the client. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what I'd say is, is you've just got to have something to, you've got to have something to pitch that people are going to be really interested in and you're almost, like basically what can you say in the first two or three sentences of talking to someone that actually makes them want to hear more and even if you stop talking to them after that they'll seek you out for more information you know I think too many people approach sales as they'll call up and say hey I do social media marketing I want to do a meeting with you a lot of times if the prospect takes that meeting it's almost like they're just doing you a favor because you didn't really say how you're gonna help them um, so what I would do is you should have some I wouldn't worry about like going after a bunch of different niches or even the ones that people say are the best. I start with one that you know you can do really well in, like you know the business, or you just have some idea for a campaign you can do. So like if you just have right now, if you had maybe a friend who's a realtor, could you just do one thing for them on Twitter, just run or a Facebook ad campaign, just one campaign where you get them like a really good ROI, and then leverage that to get in front of other similar people. So like I I know a guy who does this for realtors and he started with just one that was a friend and he ran a Facebook ad campaign just with one of their houses and they spent I think like 20 bucks in ads and got a buyer which the realtor made a couple thousand on that and then he leveraged that and he basically just tells every single realtor hey this is like look at this screenshot of our ad result the ad results we spent 20 bucks and we got a buyer that's something that really actually gets people interested and they want to hear more you know, so is there something like that? Is there some niche or some, someone you could do just one thing for? Like, don't worry about, oh, i got to do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and everything for them and run these ads and all that. Can you just do one thing for someone that can get you started and get people actually wanting to talk with you? Okay. Um, yeah, I think I can do that. Um, definitely can. I think that, like you said, like I was just watching one of the videos of a guy who was prospecting and um, it was really good. Like, I've never seen him watch someone do that. Wait, which video is that? Um, uh, I think it was the lead gen one. It was a video of, uh, it was posted, I think, like, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think it was for, he was working for a company called Lead Something. And, like, um, he, he was the big kid, like, here's me calling, uh, selling to a client for an SEO service, getting a, an appointment. And like he was just showing and recording of himself on the video and he got an appointment. And I was like, well, I guess cold calling does still work. And that's why I saw <laughs> you had put your phone number in. I was hoping you did mine and that's when I reached out to you. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's why I put my phone number. I want people to reach out to me. I want to talk to some people. Now, cold calling, yeah. I mean, people say cold calling's dead or this or that. But they act as if every, every cold call is the same. I mean, you could be really good at it, you could be really bad. Yeah, if you're horrible and have no idea what you're doing, cold calling's dead for you. Okay. But there's so many people that, you know, and it, it can be learned. You can, I don't know, and I'm not good at every niche. You know, there's probably some niche that you could cold call way better than me to, you know, just because you know how to talk to them or you have something good to say to them that I don't have. Right? Okay. I don't know, so what is like one... I would just pick out one, even if it's a friend's business, you could help out with just one kind of thing. So you have something really solid to start with. You know, and I would like, I'd put that pretty soon on your website as well. Um, so that, like on the first page of your website, I'd love to see something where they can see, anyone who visits it can see something specific that you did. Definitely good to have an overview of what you do, but you know, when it comes down to it, is someone going to be signing up and you're just kind of going to do a few things like email marketing and social media management and you, right. they may or may not get something. They don't really know specifically. Like whenever I get any client for anything, I make sure they know specifically what actions I'm going to take for them and what results I'm going to either guarantee or expect. And if I fall short of that, 
they know that they're, they have a, you know, they should be asking me about that, we should be talking about it, why it didn't work. Rather than just, like for me, I don't say, oh, I cold call for you, and people just say, okay, let's do it. And then I may or may not cold call or whatever. They know I'm going to work through a list of 100 prospects and expect 10 appointments for them. So, like, is that, is that generally the case, like, if I call 100 numbers, generally, well, you should well, hopefully get about basically 5 to 10 who do decide to do an appointment with you? Um, yeah, I guess, but I would, I would never say, without even specifying the niche, I'd never say that, you know? Because then it kind of becomes, like, um, a se like, a self-fulfilling prophecy, kind of, where... You feel like on however many, like every, like 10 of the calls will fail. I don't know, I, I mean, I go for it, like I feel like I should get a meeting on every single call. And that's, that's not going to happen, obviously. I mean, for me, mostly it's because I won't actually talk to the decision maker. That's my biggest problem, because most of the time you just won't talk to them. But I feel like I should, should get a meeting on every single one. And you need to get to a point where you know why you didn't get a meeting. Right. Okay. Do you know, I don't know, how much cold calling have you done? Um, I've done it a couple times before. I used to be a realtor a little bit, so okay. I did a little bit of cold call from that. And then I, also, I did a little bit of cold calling to dentist's office, just kind of, I did it as like a little project to see if I can get to talk to them and just see if they, if I can, see if I can get them to tell me some of the problems or what are, what are some changes that are happening to the industry. So I've done cold calling before in two different basic industries. Right, okay. So you, wait, you used to be a realtor? What kind of realtor? Uh, just a uh, regular realtor, but I did this during a time when the economy was really bad, so I got out of it. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, I mean, you should, you can get to the point, really, like doing cold calling for this, where you know, like almost every call where I don't get a meeting, at least I know why I didn't. I don't want it to be some sort of mystery where I talk to the person and they just say, oh, not interested several times or hang up on me, and I have no idea why. You know, you want to be in control of what's going on. So, and that just takes a lot of calls and a lot of, like, studying and to get to that point. Um, so I think, like, where we're going with, uh, for you, I think you just need to focus in on one thing. I wouldn't worry about going after the ten most profitable niches or whatever. Some, you know, you should just pick one that you can get good at. So, I don't know, where, where do you think you'd feel comfortable? Like, are you, do you like calling the dentist's office, or...? Yeah, I mean, I actually wouldn't mind going back to the dentist's office. I mean, I was pretty cool with that guy with my favorite, and it ended up being kind of fun, because it was like, I guess it was like, once you get that person that does talk to, it's like a big success, you know? Yeah, how did that go with, like... Because it's always the receptionist or office manager you talk to. <laughs> yeah, so. man. <laughs> I was about to ask you that too. Like, how do you get past the gatekeeper? <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, uh, I, learned, I learned a little bit trick from someone else. Um, instead of saying, you're like, oh, son, I just say, oh, I'm a college student. A lot of times when I would say that, the door, you know, the gate will come down. I'm like, oh, okay, well, we'll help a college student. Yeah, that's, are you uh, still in college? <laughs> no, no, I did that years ago. I was about four or five years ago. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that does, yeah, that's true. People love that. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you, I, yeah, I personally don't even like dentist office that much because of that reason. It's, it's tough with the gatekeeper always there. Yeah. Um, I don't know, my philosophy on it, oh, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. My, my philosophy on it is just, I don't really like the phrase actually get past the gatekeeper because it implies, like, because a lot of people take that as trying to like trick them or just completely disregard them, when in reality, the gatekeeper actually is part of the decision usually. You know, they tell, like, they'll tell the decision maker, oh, I talked to this person, they seem pretty good, you should maybe talk to them. You know, kind of if you're a jackass to the gatekeeper, yeah, you may get past them, but other times that could definitely backfire, and the gatekeeper will tell the decision maker, hey, this person is a... You know, they lied to me, they whatever, or just never put you through again, you know? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> um, well, do you have any tips as far as, like, getting past the gatekeeper? Should I just be honest and go out in them, or... 
because in the past I've seen different people use different tricks. Like um, I see one guy, he was he would email them right away, and then he would call and say, "Hey, I'm just following from the email I sent out." I mean, I've heard different tricks, but you know, I don't want to be like you said, tricky, and they get upset about that. Yeah, I mean, it definitely can work. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I don't like doing it, so I would say, yeah, I I like to be honest, straightforward. Like, hey, you know, I'm calling for whoever the decision maker is, I don't know them, never talked to them before, but look, I'm trying to show them this. And I'd actually sometimes even pitch the gatekeeper. Because if I do have a good pitch, they'll, you know, they can make a decision as to whether I get through, right? Right. Right. Yeah, so for you, I'd figure out some really good pitch that, you know, you can't just, you can, you can call people up and just say, I sell social media marketing, but if you have something like, you know, I do this specific thing, that, you know, brings this result with a, a small ad spend, something like that. Well, I, I, I don't was know. Thinking of one, one script to say was, uh, I'm about to probably cut you off. Oh, no, no, I wasn't going to say anything. Go ahead. Uh, well, it's like, um, you know, basically, like, hi, my name is Ron Wicks. I'm uh, with Cardi. Uh, we, are, uh, we are a social media marketing firm, and uh, I was analyzing your website and your social media pages, and I feel that I can. Looking at after analyzing what I saw about your page, I feel that I can help increase what's important to you as more clients. Uh, would you be interested in a ten minute call? Yeah, and even even before the appointment, I'd say I'd want them to sh I want you to show them something specific that you've done for someone else. Okay. You know, like. All right, I got you. Yeah. Like if you, I mean, I would love to see you put that on your website, like some sort of case study, or I guess because you you haven't had any clients yet. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, you gotta... So even for that, you could just start with someone you know that even if you're... Um, I mean, a lot of people say, like, don't work for free, but I would say if you're doing the first one or two things, like, it wouldn't... It would be good to get something up there where you can say, I did this for a client, you know? And that allows you to experience... Even if it's for yourself, really, like, you could... I don't know, are you on Twitter? Uh, no, no, I actually don't. Oh, uh, really? Okay, but even anything, like, you could do something. I'm going to start getting used to it, though. Yeah, I mean, if, if, yeah, if you're going to be marketing for others, you gotta, you got to like it. But you could do something for yourself, even. Like, uh, you know, like, if I were starting a social media marketing agency, I, like, if my Twitter, I have, um, I think, like, 10,000 followers on there. I just, I built that up just by doing, like, YouTube and just following a bunch of people and interacting and stuff like that, so I'd probably use myself as my case study, like, hey, got myself to, you know, this amount of followers or this amount of subscribers on YouTube or this many views, can I, do you have a few minutes so I can show you how I did that? You got to have, I yeah, I, well, what else would, uh, you know, so what would make you different? Like, what are your skills, or why would someone want to hire you over most of the other social media marketing companies out there? Um, look, maybe I can build, like, I can build, like, a brand story for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, all the skills I have is, like, that, build, like, a brand story so it's more personal to customers. Yeah. Um, or I can... All my other skills is I do have, I am really familiar with Facebook, so I can use Facebook as a way to go, how I can do, like, I have always on getting a small client, and with this, that's the name I was able to pick up from, you know, point A to point B. Right. Okay, yeah, I love that. That's awesome. And yeah, even having specific examples, too, that'll help a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and so do you have anyone you could just start out with, just say, like, you know, I want to try this out, I want to try something out on Facebook for you. Like, any any family or friends you have that have a business that aren't really doing anything on social media? Um, uh, there may be one person I can go to, they have a restaurant. Yeah. But, 